Oh yeah, speaking of childhood nostalgia, sure I'll do this challenge. Who's this from? Uh, Scott. What is it? It's the theme song to Bucky O'Hare. <gasps> what? Oh! Alright. What? Bucky oh, O'Hare? Bucky O'Hare on the Toad Wars. Oh, right. uh, America. Oh, yes. Bucky O'Hare on the Toad Wars. Uh, in England, it would have been Bucky O'Hare on the Toad Menace because they didn't like seeing wars in teenage the title of TV shows, like the Teenage Mutant, 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 Mutant Hero Turtles. Turtles. And yeah. Beasties. Or, um, Which was also Beasties. Or, uh, Beasties in Canada. Yes. What did they rebrand Battle Planets to? Uh, Shadow Wars. Shadow Wars. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Which, it still had war in the title, so... Yeah. But not uh, Battle, which is better. Is it? I don't know. Battle Wars. War battles. Don't oh, mention no, the war. Raiders. Shadow Raiders, thank Which you. Which made no sense Right, not war. Shadow all. Raiders. Right, right, right. It yeah. was completely detached from any kind of a context with the series. It was just a name. Is this what? your actual This is your actual currency's name? I now get the American jokes about it. Which? What? Yeah. The loony? I mean, we call it the loony. It's, the Canadian currency is called the dollar. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's just nicknamed. But we call the physical $1 coin the... Looney, because yeah, it has like a loon up, on it. It's up 20 loonies when you pass over a 20 bill. No, no, yeah, it's not like, hey, do you have five loonies? Yeah. You know? Sometimes when we're talking about the health of I mean, the economy, we refer to the value of the loony. It's all very complicated, though. Yeah, yeah. It, it, of course, the symbol is still the S because with the line yeah, for it, not the L. Saying like, we, we, do we use the single line when the U.S. uses a double line? I think. Yeah, saying like, yeah. saying like the loony has fallen or whatever is easier than saying the Canadian dollar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. We make things real confusing by putting a buck on our quarter, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we have a caribou on our quarter. Oh, yeah. Matt! Yeah. Yeah. So, Captain Bucky O'Hare. Anyway, <laughs> from another dimension, another time and space, a parallel universe has fallen on his face. When out of the chaos, who else could it be but the animal adventurers from SPACE? Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! Humans and aliens and toads beware! If you're looking for adventure, well, this is it! With, oh god, with, uh, Blinky? Hang on, what the hell is his crew's name? Jenny. Dead Eye, <laughs> Blinky, and Willie Do It. His what name, the way. human's name, and Bucky O'Hare was Willie Do It. T O S, T O S, T O S. Anyway. I said Bucky! <laughs> Captain Bucky O'Hare! I'm now an update on Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars. In the battle of the anniversary, you don't know what's next. You only know amphibians and maybe complex. When you check out your scanner and the evil that it bodes, there's only one course of action. Let's croak us some toads! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare. He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare. If your righteous indignation has suffered a hit and your proton accelerator's broken a bit and you're losing your mind and you're having a fit, Get the funky fresh rabbit who can take care of it. Bucky! Captain, Captain Bucky O'Hare. Did you say Bucky? I said Bucky. Bucky O'Hare! Let's croak us some toads. Can we, get the, can we get the video of that for, the con, for context yes. for people who have no idea what just happened? Their spaceship was called the Righteous Indignation. <laughs> Which is Which a is great, great name. It's so good. It's like a culture ship. Yeah. I, did I not, love it. I did not appreciate this show nearly enough when it was on the air. No. 